It's a brand new opponent for the Bison football team this weekend. The Bison welcome the North Carolina A&T Aggies into the Fargo Dome for the first time ever between these two squads. The Aggies will have plenty of weapons at their disposal, including a dual threat quarterback. Code Green is going to be on high alert for Aggie quarterback Zach Yeager, a Minneapolis product who was actually also recruited by North Dakota State. He would be in the same class as Cole Payton. Yeager not only led the Aggies in passing in their season opener against North Carolina Central, but was also their leading rusher. He finished with 59 yards on six carries. While preparing for these kind of dual threat quarterbacks can be difficult, the Bison defense, more specifically their defensive front, is ready. I mean, when you think like pass rush, you know, um, we get worried about quarterback scrambling and just kind of running all over on us. Um, but at the same hand, too, you can't be uh, passive in your rush. You still just got to try and get after the quarterback and get him on the ground however you can. The Bison host the Aggies in their annual Trees Bowl game this Saturday. It's their second of three non-conference games before they start Missouri Valley Conference play. And we're a quickly approaching playoff baseball for the American Association, which means it's time for award season. A group of players have been named postseason All-Stars by the league, including a trio of Red Hawks. For the infield, we have third baseman Leo Pena. He finished the regular season tied for second with his 346 batting average. He was also second in the league with 129 hits. Drew Ward was named the designated hitter for this All-Star team. He batted 345 this year, finishing right behind Pena. And on the mound will be Fargo's own Alex Duborn. Duborn became a prolific closer this season, leading the league with 23 saves. The Red Hawks start their playoff run north of the border tomorrow night. They begin their series with Winnipeg at 630. And we have a full set of players of the week this time around. This week we have Jackson Greff as our boys honoree and Sarah Sleto for the girls. Greff helped lead the Davies Eagles to their Friday night win over the defending state champion West Fargo Cheyenne Mustangs. He returned a fumble for a touchdown and also secured an interception for the Eagles. And Sleto is a kicker for the Jamestown Blue Jays. She had a perfect 7 for 7 night on Friday for the defending state champions. The person who nominated also said that Sleto is Jamestown's first female kicker. Congratulations to these two. Thank you for everyone who submitted nominations. We'll be doing this every week this fall for all sports, so be sure to keep those coming. I know those two for football. It's not just going to be. It doesn't always yeah, have to be everyone. football. It just happens that they have and to I be mean, football. I mean, seven for seven. First of all, going out there to kick seven extra points. Mm -hmm. Her leg didn't get the, tired. The offense gets some credit for that, too. I'm impressed. Girl power. I love <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. Stick around.